everyone. Thanks for joining me tonight or today. I always say tonight because I only get to really pour at night. Um, and, you know, when I upload these videos, it's always in the morning. So thanks for joining me this morning. <laughs> Um, so what I am doing tonight is um, I'm going to do a little four series um, or a four piece, I guess you could call it. I don't even know what you want to call it, but um, these are six by six um, canvases. They are level three um, canvases, six by six. I've already um, gone ahead and put white on these just to save time. Um, but what I wanted to make tell you guys is, you know, I put the um, push pins underneath and then, you know, you put it down and 90% of the time it's actually not level. So if you don't have one of these, I'm telling you, get one. Um, I bought it off Amazon, a couple of bucks. It's uh, in my Amazon shop. So US or Canada, check it out in the links below. Um, this is a very handy tool and I love how it has um, this little hole up here because I will literally put it here and you can see maybe kind of that it is level here and I put it here and it's level here and here perfectly level and here perfectly level and if it's not level you know all you got to do is just kind of fidget with the push pin in the back maybe pull it out a bit more you know um, and then that'll get you level for sure. So these are all level. I've checked them all. I've made sure they are all level. So as I said, I did these ones. So let's just do this last one here. So this is just um, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White um, mixed with Floetrol. And so I'm going to use my spatula here to spread the paint out on my canvas, just like so. And then, might as well save that. And then I have, oops, my squeeze bottle. I just touched it here, so I'll just re-add some white. Then I'm just gonna use my squeeze bottle and get my edges just to drip. And then I will just rub my hands across. I probably should have left some more space for myself. And rub my hands across here. And here just to make sure all my edges are covered all right oops all right I think I am good <laughs> all right paper towel okay and I've already torched and popped the bubbles on this, so I'll do the same over here. All right, so because these are small um, pieces, I don't know if I'm gonna use the hair dryer or just um, blow with my mouth. I might just blow with my mouth. We'll see, I don't know. We'll do the first one and we'll see. Um, colors I am using. Um, I just did a previous pour using these colors and I absolutely love the outcome so I'm doing the colors again so we have ultra marine blue by Liquitex basics I have cadmium yellow deep hue by Liquitex basics and I have deep magenta by artist loft and I have dioxazine purple by Liquitex basics I have brilliant blue by Liquitex basics and finally I have copper by artist loft and I have them all conveniently put in my squeeze bottles here um, and which are also mixed with Floetrol, the paint and some water. Um, if you are curious to know how I mix my paints and what my ratios are, I do have a video on that. Um, now I can't think of what video number it is at the top off the top of my head. 61, 63, one of those, I can't remember, but you can't miss it, it's somewhere in the 60s, you'll see it. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use all the colors, but I'm gonna mix up the order I do them in. Um, so let's start down here first. And what I'm thinking is maybe I'll just pour puddles and then just blow them out. 
Yeah? No? I don't know. The, the bright side is, if I muck this up, it's only a six by six, so I can scrape it and start again. Um, so, well, let's see. Let, let's, hold on. So, we'll do the yellow and the magenta. So I'm doing some little zigzags. I don't know, you can do whatever you want, puddles. Uh, you don't wanna add too much paint because it is just a small, you know, six by six little canvas. You don't wanna over flood it with paint. All right, that actually looks really cool. So I think what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of white on the outside and I think I'm gonna blow it because if I hair dryer it I'm gonna just destroy it and first I'm gonna pop my bubbles all right All right, so I pretty much got it almost covered except for the, I was gonna pour white on that, but you know what, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so let's um, see what happens when I blow it out. I see a lot of purple and blue, I've lost magenta, I've lost the yellow. Oh, there's the yellow. Ooh, oh my God, that's so pretty. Wow. Look at this. It's all blue, but it's got the rim of gold around it. That's actually pretty neat. All right, let's turn this baby around without, ugh, all right. Good thing I got an apron. <laughs> All right. There's some more of the yellow. That's kind of cool. I'm really liking that. There's so much copper in there. So on my next one, I'm gonna use a lot less copper. Where's my torch? Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. So I torched right in the middle there and all I see the the brilliant blue came out and the dark ultramarine blue came out. So let me just get my edge here. All right, that's really cool. And the design it's making um, dripping along the sides is actually really cool too. So instead of taking the camera off and on and off and on, I'm gonna try my best to just Pick it up and show you guys um, what it looks like. <laughs> well, see, yeah, uh, that might be a problem. <gasps> All right. Look at that. That turned out pretty neat. I'm trying to avoid that shadow. So that's pretty cool actually. I'll be interested to see what the rest look like. So I'm gonna move this guy here. I'm gonna bring this guy down here. And I'm gonna get some more paper towel. And I 
think I am going to move this one completely out of the way because the last thing I need is to drip paint on it. So, okay, this guy, oh my gosh, the colors are really cool. No, leave it. I was about to blow um, right here and kind of bring that over. You guys are probably screaming at me right now. There we go. I don't know if that really made a difference, but all right. Put that one aside and I'm just gonna touch up where I can see the white is missing because if I don't do it now and it starts to dry up I won't be able to to do it after and that'll suck this side's pretty good I'm just hey you can't see me anymore where did I go Oh, that's funny. All right, okay. That's done. Let's see if I can get this out. Okay. So now I went in this order. Now let's uh, switch it up a bit. So how about we go backwards the other way? So what if I start with copper? Let me move you up actually, right here. You guys see better there, yeah? Okay, copper and then the light blue. Yeah, completely opposite order. So we'll go dioxazine purple and, oh, and I'm actually doing puddles now <laughs> and not designs. And last but not least, the ultramarine blue on top. Okay, I will pour my white around just a little bit. Okay, I will torch my, <laughs> torch my bubbles. All right, let's blow this one. Turn it around. And ironically, like, I mean, I blew, I, not a blue, I put the copper on the bottom, and yet all I see right now is copper. Oh, all right. If this turns out all coppery, I'm gonna maybe, we'll see. Okay. So this one, so that one, I went just kind of like a cross pattern. This one I'm gonna try and blow like a flower. Just different design for all of them. I don't want them all to look the same. So much paint on this paper. Oh wow, wow, that right there, that was nice. That was really cool. I kind of want it to go over the edges 
so that they all kind of match. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, I know what I'm going to do on the next one now. That yellow and purple looks so amazing. All right. That's pretty cool too. All right, let's grab the torch on this one. So this one's like totally different. Very cool though, but totally different. All right, I need a little bit of white here. And I've got dripping over here, dripping. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that on that side. And I think the rest is good. So let's bring you up on this one. So that's really cool, the yellow and the purple there. This one's got a lot of blue in it, but it's still pretty cool. I actually really like that. I don't know if I'll sell these all um, together or separately. I haven't really decided yet. I guess I'll think about it once I see what the other, what these ones all turn out to look like. So we'll see. All right. Okay, so let's mix it up. I liked the yellow and the purple, so I'll leave those two um, for the end. So let's start with, I don't want to put too much because I started with the copper before. Um, let's see, so I did blue. I want to leave those. Let's do a little bit of copper. And we'll do the magenta, the light blue, and um, yellow, and finally the dioxazine purple, like so. All right. Now, I don't remember what order I did that, and that's the funny part. So, let's put our white. All right, let's torch it. It's looking a little crooked to me, although, actually, no, it's not. I leveled it, so. Okay. quick turn over here. All right. Uh, let's see. We'll go this way. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. Yeah. So pretty. There's so much paint on here, but wow, that looks stunning. Oh, wow. I lo 
so far this one's my favorite as I stick to the paper. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I definitely like the um, purple and the yellow um, near the top for sure. Yeah, that is so pretty. Super cool. Super cool. Let me check my edges. Dripping nicely. Where's my white? Need some over here. Perfect. I love the way it just drips, you know, a little bit off the side and not like fully. Actually, it's leaving a very nice design on the side. And this side looks good. Oh, I could use the paint off of here. Look at that. All right. Get out of my painting. Gone. Oh, this one's my favorite. Oh, I don't know. That one's still nice, too. The first one. Oh. So cool. Wait. Okay, let me bring this one up for you guys. Look at that. Look at the colors. It's so neat. They're so pretty. I really hate that shadow. Sorry, guys. There we go. How's that? That's super cool. I love that. Okay, guys. Last one. All right. Move this guy over up here. Oh, wow. These look so cool. Oh, my God. I'm a mess. All right. Last one. I can already see. I'm kind of... Sh see... My white paint is drying. What are we doing over here? There we go. Okay. Okay, okay. So, I, I, I know I started with the blue and then I did copper. Um, light blue. Uh, deep magenta. Copper. Ultra marine blue. Mm, yellow. And purple. I did yellow and purple last again. It was, I just liked it way too much. It just, it's amazing. So, all right, let's do this last one. Get my white, pop the bubbles. All right, last one. Is this where you say you save the best for last? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Let's blow it out. Uh, let's see. So I did two in a cross pattern, and then that other one I did kind of like a bloom. But I really do... Like the cross, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh 
that sides down. Ah, and I'm loving it. Let's turn it around. So pretty, man. I'm just going to add some white to help this along, help it fall down. There we go. Oh, now it's dripping now. Ah, oh, this one, more baby towel. Ugh. Now I don't know which one's my favorite. I'll tell you which one's my least favorite. That would be number two. Um, I still like it. It's just not my favorite of the four. Oh man, this one looks good too. These colors, guys, I'm telling you, these colors are really good together. Okay, I'm gonna torch it in a second. Just gotta make sure I'm good. Oh, wow. Okay, I think that's my favorite now. Yep, I think that one's my favorite. Do I wanna torch it? It just looks so nice the way it is. Uh, up high. There. Actually, that was good from up high. Oh, you know what? Always start up high. You never know. If you do too close, psh, a gajillion cells. But this, this, my friends, is stunning. Oh, I love it. I kind of want to scrape the second one and, and do that one again. Yeah. But then my video is going to go even longer and you guys might not like that. <laughs> All right. This is... This one turned out so nice. Look at that. And I like the pattern I did on this one, actually. It's almost kind of like a butterfly. Kind of. Maybe not. <gasps> but it's pretty. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of not liking this one now. Am I, am I, should I leave it? Uh, I don't know. Um, I just think there's maybe a little too much blue and not enough negative space. Uh, I don't know. You know what I do when I'm not 100% happy, right? You do know that, right? What if, actually, and before I scrape it completely off, what if I I don't know. I might just be doing this for nothing. I'm just wasting white paint. Maybe. Okay, I like that, but it's still too busy for me. Where's my stick? Um, shoot. Doesn't it look too busy? Uh, what did I say when I started? It's only a six by six canvas, right? It just doesn't match the rest. 
one of these things is not like the other, right? Like, that's either like a cross pattern or an X pattern, and this is just a blob. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, okay. So, yep, I just did that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure um, I clean all the color off because um, it will show through because I, I learned that on my last pour that I scraped. I did not clean um, the color off and I could see it through the white. So just better safe than sorry, guys. Clean it off there, see? Clean. Clean as a whistle. Okay. Oh, but look at that. What? Look how pretty that is. <laughs> and now it's mush. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's get moving here, Canela. People don't have all day. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this quick. Add the white. Flutter around. Perfect. Good thing I mixed a batch of white today. All right, this my spatula, it's drying to the paper. Okay. No sense in wasting white, right? Here we go. Okay, make sure my edges, man, this bottle was full when I started tonight. Goes to show you how many canvases I've been working on tonight. All right. So this one, um, I will blow um, in the X pattern as well. So since I did, well, <laughs> how stupid am I, uh, cross, if you turn the canvas, it's an X. Well, it's an X if you turn it on a, like, on a diamond angle. Anywho, pop my bubbles. Okay. Oh my God, there's just such a mess over here. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think those last, the second one or the third one and the fourth one. I really like the way that one turned out. Um, trying to remember where I'm going with this. Um, that... Uh, whatever. And how about we do the pink on the top this time? So let's go dioxazine purple and then the yellow because I love the yellow and the purple together. And then the deep magenta on top. And that is a lot of paint. All right. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait. Torch it. Okay. Jeez, I'm sticking to everything. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Okay, all right, last one. Uh, what am I doing? An X pattern, right? Gosh, my hands are sticking to everything. So far, so good. Oh my God, seriously, Canela. Oh.
I like it. I like it, except I love the white, white, and then here I'm kind of losing it. Um, oh, wow, so pretty. Oh, God. Not a good idea, eh? Nope, that was not a good idea. Silly idea, so let's go back. And all right, so then what I might be able to do is just do that. And now it's pushing it. Can, I don't know if you can see that. It's actually pushing it out. Okay, there. Oh my God, now it's actually ripping the paper. Okay, I like that. So I'm really glad um, I scraped that and I started again. It seems like every time I'm like even just a bit not happy and I scrape it, I always end up with something way better. And now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking this is my favorite. Yeah. Just, wow. Okay, done, done. Oh, wow, can you see that? Oh, you can. Look at that. That's cool. And this side doesn't have too much, but that's okay. Okay, seriously guys, check this one out. I'm so glad I redid this. This one ended up being so much better. I have to be careful not to go too much to the side because the other painting's there. And I'm, I don't want to drip on it because I'd be so mad. Wow, okay, I love it. Love it. All right, so I'm gonna move my bottle over here. And I'm gonna put this with the other four so that you can see them all together in case you forgot what they look like. I'm going to bring it down a bit. Yeah, there's a lot of paint on there. That's better. I actually just centered it. Ah, that worked out. And I'm actually going to leave them here on the table um, to dry because I know the table is level um, and the pieces were level. I'm worried that if I put them on the drying rack or on the floor, um, I'm going to end up with a disaster because that happened to me um last week i put a piece on the floor thought it was level and i came back to it like 30 minutes later and the whole painting just psh, was gone just gone gone okay I'm, I'm done i'm done let me show you guys let me show you guys Look at them, they turned out so nice. Wait, where am I going? Wait, no, this way. How cool are these? Actually, now you can get a better look at them because there's no um, sh shade, or not shade, shadow. Goodness gracious. So that was, where's the other one? And this one's. I love them all. Now, I'm so glad I scraped the other one. I'm so glad I scraped this one and I did it over again. Because look at, come on, focus camera. Look how cool that turned out. So there they are. All four, I'm trying to get straight here. There we go, sorry guys. There we go. Let me know what you guys think, guys. 
If you like them, give them a thumbs up. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Sorry for the long video, but I did do four, kind of five pieces. So let me know what you think. These are going to get dried and I don't know if I'm going to varnish them or resin them yet. We'll see how they dry. Um, and then they will go up on my Etsy. And speaking of Etsy, I just uploaded a ton of new stuff on my Etsy um, website, or Etsy, Etsy page, sorry. So go and check out all the new stuff I just uploaded um, there for sale. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out all my social media links below and my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate. Um, thank you very much, guys. I hope you guys like these four pours. Five. Good night. Talk to you soon. Bye.